what is going on everybody dj minds here okay so today we're just gonna get straight into it i watched the nearly two hour ethereum dev call which was on the 27th of may sorry for not uploading this yesterday but i had to do some things with the family i want to start by saying i actually really enjoyed this dev call compared to the last two i felt like they addressed pretty much every single question we have that's whether you're a gpu miner whether you're interested in ethereum or whatever you're staking it doesn't really matter whatever your involvement is with ethereum i feel like all of those questions were answered the first thing they they did and i believe those was tim who started this off is they addressed the attack there was an attack on robston robston is the test net if you don't already know that and i believe he they said it was about a 20 to 30 percent hash rate increase from the troll they you know it should not have done that that was obviously artificial it will not affect mainnet mainnet is the actual merge itself but yeah they, it was really cool that they mentioned that i thought that maybe they would hide that and another thing i want to say that the overall vibe was a lot better i felt like there was a lot more people speaking and that was more towards the end though but there was definitely a lot more people because usually on these calls you're hearing four to five people so that was really cool to see i don't know maybe 10 to 12 people talk uh money is trivial to raise the hash rate over the ttd so again that's from the robston attack the ttd stands for total terminal difficulty you will heal this term a lot not necessarily just from me but if you ever watch any of these again that is total terminal difficulty just remember that because you're going to hear it all the time uh it says it could not happen on mainnet or should not happen on mainnet so so yeah, shout out to the trolls, I guess, but really it shouldn't affect anything once they go live. They also did a very good breakdown of all the test nets. So right now we're in the Robson stage. The next one is Gorlia, G-O-E-R-L-I. It might be Gorli. I'm not sure how to say that. And then finally, Sephalia, and that's like the final test net. So it goes into these phases. They test each one. Again, we're in Robston. And then finally, we go into the main or Bellatrix fork. That is the actual merge itself. So the uh, Robston, Gorlia, Sephalia, and then Bellatrix fork or the merge itself. So that's just just the breakdown of that so another thing that they mentioned i found very interesting was that they can't specifically say when the merge is going to happen they can't say like on this second on this day maybe not even within the hour it could be the same day potentially but they don't have 100 control over the test net like you might think so that's one of the reasons they don't say exactly oh on 8th june because it could end up being 7th june or 9th june you know these these blocks are going by 100,000 increments from my understanding so it's very difficult to predict an exact Exact day or time but you can definitely get a ballpark answer so that was nice to hear that of why you're not maybe hearing an exact day all the time then they started talking about the difficulty bomb and i believe it was tim who said the average last week was about 13.7 ish block time so if you don't know what that means that means it takes about 13.7 seconds right now to hit a block a block is basically the reward for the miner whether that's on pool side or whether that's on solo side and if you didn't know if you didn't watch the last update then yes we are right now having the difficulty bomb go off right now it is not very bad it is just more of gradual so at the current rate of which it's been going it was planned for around august to be about 20 second blocks so again 13.7 ish is what we're at now 20 second block times that's nearly double not quite double but obviously that would hurt and by the time we get to june july be about 16.5 seconds maybe even 18 towards the uh first half of july and the second half of july we would definitely hit 18 going to that 20 in august so you could see the gradual thing and then that makes that means you're going to get less and less rewards less and less money if they stuck to this schedule late august september we should see over 20 second block times they may or may not have to adjust that so at this point we were really thinking wow this is happening this is sounding rough right like this is really this is it guys for gpu miners and then all of a sudden i say towards like the last 45 minutes of the video things got really interesting i believe it was thomas that mentioned we need a three to four month delay and at this point no one had even mentioned that this is due to the difficulty bomb he didn't want to rush it and then andrew backed him up you know talking about pressure points and we don't need that type of pressure and i felt like that was really cool because no one did that last week no one did that the week prior and then all of a sudden i'm telling you once andrew and thomas start mentioning that i just saw so many people trying to talk so many people saying yes we need a two month delay some people saying three and again some people saying four month delay and uh, yeah that's that's something that we haven't heard at all and that meant a lot and it was great to hear because the most important thing is not just getting out 
the merge, right? It's not doing the merge just for the sake of merge and fixing it later. No, there is billions and billions of dollars. There's people like me. There's people like you out there that have Ethereum out there and, you know, they don't want to be affected. And this isn't some game. You only get one shot at the merge and there's no reason to just, you know, not take your time. Like BBT said, bits be tripping. Just test it out. Do it properly. You've already waited years and years. And so I understand that a lot of those developers are very frustrated. There, there was a few that were quite frustrated and just want to push it out and they want to fix it later. But obviously, that's probably not the best thing to do marius definitely seemed like he did not want it to happen he, he was an advocate for just pushing it and there were a few people that wanted to push it but overall i do believe the sentiment was was just delay it the real mvp for gpu miners i feel like was thomas and he was saying 25 second blocks is what would happen by august and it's just too much a lot of talk about hey should we go over 20 and pretty much everyone said that's probably not the best idea and again the overall sentiment at that point was this is too much stress you know because right now we keep adjusting things by a two-week period and it's just to push it out right that's kind of the sentiment of, of getting the merge let's just go by two weeks and then we don't want to commit to two months four months but it's just too much pressure it's too much to change i don't know the development side of exactly what they're changing but i would imagine they have to change every two weeks because they continue to push it out more and more so they're saying yeah just push it out two to four months it'd be so much better it's less stressful there's less i don't want to say paperwork but you know things to do and uh yeah that would probably overall work better Marius, again, the guy who's an advocate for pushing forward, said, quote, in Amsterdam, 20 second block times are not bad. And yeah, obviously that didn't go too well with myself or my chat or really anybody because that's almost double, as we mentioned earlier, that does not sound good for anyone that affects the entire network and not just the crypto miners. That's something to consider. Andrew said probably the best take. I'm kind of paraphrasing here. He said the merge is for the user. The point isn't to push a merge. The point is to serve the end user. And he did mention it's not for the miners right it's not about us it's not about the miners it's about the person that uses ethereum and i thought that was really powerful andrew said he's happy with two months at least again at minimum two months proper testing must be taken if we have to let's push it three to four months a little bit of paraphrasing there but that meant a lot you know take your time definitely no one wants to see higher gas fees no one wants to pay more and think about your users don't just push it out and rush it they did mention the word paris I've been hearing that throughout the whole call. I didn't really know what that meant and uh, neither did the developers. So that, that was pretty cool to see. And uh, yeah, there was a mention of Paris that they discussed and I didn't really understand what that was. So feel free if you know what that was. At the end of the day, they ran out of time. There was so many people, like I said, towards the last 45 minutes or so that were just going on and giving their opinion. No, we need to delay. And, and again, it just felt like almost everyone wanted to delay, but just a few people. So for the last bit, we were really left wondering, is it going to be officially delayed? or not and again i don't think that they they're going to do that on the dev call i could be wrong but it sure didn't seem like that maybe two weeks from now maybe even tim bako if you don't know tim bako he, he's a lead developer for ethereum check him out on twitter yeah maybe they're going to do it through twitter i don't know what the more official way of doing that is but it sure didn't seem like the dev call was the way even though that they know that people are watching it so how does this affect you as a gpu miner i mean it, it sounds like you have a little bit more time would i go out and rush and buy a bunch of graphics cards to gpu mine right now absolutely not under no circumstance would i do that and it did sound like maybe we'll see it september october november december who knows man it could be january somewhere in there but you don't have that much time and it might seem like you have a lot of time you certainly will not pay off your cards unless you already have those cards mining i would certainly keep what i have and just keep going get a little bit of extra boost but this is not the time to expand i am sure once ethereum goes away that we'll see a 2030 maybe some older cards even more percent drop off discount on these cards the 4000 series cards are coming out so this is not the time to be expanding right now that doesn't mean that it's not a good time later maybe even the towards the end of this year or the beginning of 2023 but right now guys if you already have the graphics cards like i do keep mining keep doing your thing until you can't do your thing but don't go out and, and just buy don't build a rig like this okay like i'm building this thing is humongous by the way shout out to gpu risers uh i can't wait to test that out this thing is much bigger in real life than it might look if you made it this far in the video please put in hashtag eth eth hashtag eth or whatever your favorite altcoin is please do check us out on all our social media links in the description below for our discord and twitter i'll catch you guys on the next one dj minds signing out